Hey folks, Rob here, and I thought uh, today we'd bring this Charles Daly out. This is the Charles Daly 301 that I recently picked up from uh, Kentucky Gun Company. And this is the home defense model in tactical gray, and it does have the interchangeable choke tubes, which was what I wanted. And so we're just going to be running our first shots through it today. It's kind of windy out, so I hope the wind noise doesn't mess with this too much. And for today, we're just going to be putting some Winchester uh, Super Target 7.5 shot. Just uh, something to test it out and see how it runs. So we'll be uh, taking a few shots with this. and Just stay tuned and we'll get started. So this gun does hold uh, one in the chamber and five in the uh, tube. So for a total of six rounds. So this will be the first shots through the uh, Charles Daly 301. We're just going to be shooting up there at the bank and just uh, seeing, shooting it for function today. So there was our first six rounds through the Charles Daly. Works pretty smooth. Got pretty slick action on it. Probably smoothing up a little more as it goes on. Not bad. Trigger's pretty good on it. So let's, uh, let's put a six more rounds to it. See what it does. All right, got us loaded back up here. Let's just take us a few more shots. She did. She's limbering up a little bit. Let's load her back up and do it again. I have to say that the uh, magazine to load on this uh, Charles Daly is probably one of the easier ones of all the shotguns I bought the last little bit. Uh, this one loads the easiest and the smoothest. Uh, doesn't pinch your finger or anything like that. Seems like the rounds go in it really nice. Uh, so far, I'm liking it. Let's take a few more shots. Is that it? Oh, got one more. If you don't know what I'm doing, there's a there's a can up there on that hill, probably about 30 yards from here, and uh, I was shooting the last couple shots of that, and every time I shoot it, it jumps. So. I'm liking it. Okay, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how easy the magazine tube on this loads. One of the easiest loading shotguns I have loaded in quite some time. Kind of impressed with that. Now, I don't know if it's a Cerakote finish on this. It kind of makes it feel a little draggy. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's the internals of Cerakote, but uh, it is smoothing up a little bit. I mean, it's not overly it's not unsmooth but it feels just a little little hesitant at times let's take a few more rounds oh she's slicking up I think it's just that Cerakote needs to kind of wear in. Anyway, I got a few more rounds left in that box. Let's load her up and we'll uh, finish this one up.
Okay, this will be non-eventful because I only got two rounds left. So anyway, let's take these last couple shots through it and uh, just see how she does. So far, I'm liking it. It uh, seems like it's really reaching out there for a short barrel gun. I mean, I was hitting that uh, can up there on that hillside at 30, probably 30 yards. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, I think it's still got the modified choke tube in it. So let's take our last couple shots here and we'll wrap this one up. Right, guys there's our first shots through the Charles Daly defense this is the model 301 12 gauge tactical if you can see there it does have a white post sight I don't know if you can see that or not Kentucky Gun Company has these right now for 189 bucks, which is a good deal because I paid more than that for this one. <laughs> I actually gave 209 for this one. So anyway, guys, just a quick look at the uh, Charles Daly 301 uh, shotgun. This one has interchangeable chokes, takes a Benelli uh, mobile choke system. I have a turkey tube for it. Before long we're going to be testing this gun with its 18 and a half inch barrel against a uh, 28 inch barrel and doing some uh, patterning test and see how this short barrel holds up to a longer barrel at distance as far as pattern so anyway guys thanks for watching I appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel and takes time to leave a comment thumbs up if you're not a subscriber please feel free to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.